how we're going to do this course, okay? So I'm going to start sharing my screen here with you. Here you go. Okay, so here you go. That's 122.21. Lab. Lecture final. Oh, wait a minute. Got it. This one here. No, 122, 21. Yeah, the lab is 21. The lecture is 42. It's 41. Lab, 122, 41 lecture. 122.41 lecture. This notes that you see here was done back in the fall of 2020. So I'm going to reuse it and, uh, and uh, improve on that as well. Go. Today is July the 7th, 2021. No, July 12th, 2021. And here you go. My name is Claudio Egalon. I have a PhD degree in physics from the College of William Mary in the city of Williamsburg, Virginia. Do not know if you know that area there in the East Coast. You know, now that I'm living here in California, I wish I had moved to California earlier. Uh, it's much better weather here than there in the East Coast. I also have a second PhD. I also have a second PhD in electrical engineering. Engineering from Old Dominion University. Dominion University in the city of Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah, it's nearby. Williamsburg nearby Hampton as well, okay? And Norfolk has a big naval base. Williamsburg is a small town that has the old colonial Williamsburg in which they reenact the costumes of the colonial, colonial times here in the States. College of William Mary is a very nice college, very nice campus. The old no, old Dominion University with ODU. ODU. ODU used to belong, used to be part. ODU used to be part, to be part of William and Mary. It used to be the college of, and it used to be the College of Engineering. The College of Engineering of William and Mary. But then they split and they made a, a new university there. As of today, uh, William and Mary doesn't have a school of engineering. It does have a department of physics. It has a, a department of applied physics, but doesn't have a depart, uh, College of Engineering anymore. The College of Engineering stayed with ODU. Okay, my PhDs, my two PhDs were done in conjunction with NASA Langley Research Center. We have a NASA center there nearby, one of the 13 NASA centers. And NASA Langley was the first, the very first NASA center just created. It was also the first NASA headquarters. It has a big history in the space, not just in the space program, but in the aviation program. Okay, it was there at NASA Langley that the Mercury astronauts, the first NASA astronauts, lived and worked. We call that area the Tidewater area. The Tidewater area. Today, NASA headquarters is located in the city of Washington, D.C. And the astronauts 
and the astronauts live and work in Houston at another at another NASA center, NASA Johnson Space Center, JSC we call it. JSC. I'm originally from Brazil. Going back here to William Mary. William Mary, you know, is the third oldest oldest college in the States. Just founded, founded in 1693. That's, no, you do the math, right? We're talking about uh, at least 300 years. The college celebrated 300 years in 1993. I was there. I graduated in 1990. Okay, PhD in physics, 1990, from the College of William Mary. Okay. A little bit of history here. And what about NASA Langley? I like to talk about NASA Langley because it has a rich history. Not only it was the first NASA center, it was also, NASA Langley was also the NASA Langley was also the laboratory of its predecessor, its predecessor of the NASA's predecessor, okay? Of NASA's predecessor, NACA, the NACA. What means NACA? NACA was the National Advisory Council on Aeronautics. So the NACA was replaced by NASA. NACA was founded by the Wright brothers, not just by the Wright brothers, but also and Samuel Langley as well. Samuel Langley as well. That's the guy that lent his name to the NASA Center. NASA Langley, you know, is honoring Samuel Langley. Samuel Langley was a professor, a university professor. He also worked at the Smithsonian Institute, Institute there in Washington, D.C. Both of them were, both of them, both the Wright brothers and the Samuel Langley were aviation pioneers. The difference was that the Wright brothers were business people, businessmen, and Samuel Langley was a university professor, a researcher. Samuel Langley himself had lots of funding from the government to do his aviation research, research on aviation, and he even tried to fly before the Wright brothers. He built his own heavier than air airplane and he tried to fly, but he, he didn't succeed. He failed. He crashed his airplane. And after that failed attempt, he couldn't get more money for his research. And the Wright brothers were self-financing themselves with their own business money, managed to become the first ones to fly a heavier than air aircraft in the key in kitty hawks in in north carolina in north carolina yeah it's north carolina kitty hawk okay it's a very interesting story you know and i'm particularly interested in their story because we also had an aviation pioneer there in brazil who was competing against the wright brothers his name, uh, Brazil also had his aviation pioneer, okay? Brazil also had its aviation pioneer. He na his name was Alberto Santos Dumont. Santos Dumont. He was the son of a very wealthy, he was the son of a very wealthy coffee grower coffee grower in Brazil. His father was so wealthy that they built a railroad in their own property. A railroad, think about that, to carry all the coffee from one place to another. 
and the young Alberto Santos Dumont would play with the locomotive and start learning about engines. That's where he started learning about engines. Eventually, he used his engines, the engines that uh, he created from the from his learning experience at the railroad of his father. In his dirigible, first in his dirigible, he was he was the one that invented the dirigible. Okay, Santos Dumont is credited. was inventing the dirigible, a balloon that could be dirigible, he go, a balloon that could be maneuvered, maneuvered, okay, maneuvered And for some time, he was also credited with being the first one to fly with a heavier than air. And for several years, he was also credited as being the one to fly with a heavier than air aircraft. He called it the 14 bis. Okay, even today Brazilians say that uh, Santos Dumont was the first one to fly heavier than, heavier than air. But the fact is that it was the Wright brothers who flew first and Santos Dumont flew later on. The difference between the flight of, heavy, of the Wright brothers and Santos Dumont, and, and then we should credit that to Santos Dumont, was that they have the Wright brothers, if you look at the at history, the Wright brothers needed a catapult to initially propel his air, their aircraft. Okay, that's but Santos Dumont no, he didn't need he didn't need a, a, a catapult. He managed to take off his airplane with his, with its own power. That was that what was the the feat of Santos Dumont Alberto Santos Dumont. Even today, some Brazilian scientists credit. Santos Dumont was the first one to fly heavier than air because of this difference. But the truth is that, the truth is that it was the Wright brothers who had all the patents on the, on the heavier than air airplane. We knew at that time, back in the 1900s, early 1900s, that uh, I met the achieving a heavier than air flight was just a matter of getting a more powerful engine. People are still developing those internal combustion engines, and it was just a matter of developing a more powerful internal combustion engine to get the airplane off the ground. Okay, so everybody was attacking the problem through this angle, improving the performance of the internal combustion engine. But the Wright brothers, they went, they were smarter. The Wright brothers were smarter. Instead of trying to do to achieve heavier than air flight with, with a brute force okay by using powerful engines what they did why they what, what what did they try to do okay they improved they instead improved on the aerodynamics of the airplane that's what they start patenting not just in the united states but but all over the world and that's why they were they managed it to fly before Santos Dumont. And, and, and that's one more thing. Santos Dumont managed to fly his heavier than air because he was a very light guy. He was a very skinny guy. Okay? That's why he succeeded in his heavier than air flight. You know, that's all written in the book of history that are put aside. And because of the patents of uh, because of the patents of the Wright brothers. Okay, later on, they sued Alberto Santos Dumont, <laughs> Alberto Santos Dumont for infringement, for infringement of his patent, on their patent, and they succeeded. They didn't get any money because Alberto Santos Dumont was doing that more for fun, you know, he was not there to commercialize what he called himself his invention. So that's an interesting piece of history that might 
interest you and I like to share with my students. Okay, so uh, okay, I have my syllabus here, and let, let's take attendance here. Let's uh, make sure everybody is here right now. Here is our schedule. Okay, I prepare our schedule for the remaining of the semester. Uh, we we have only five weeks. We have only five weeks of class. Okay, today is the first day. It's going to be almost four hours of meeting. And let it, let's go there to the attendance roster. 12 of July, 14 of July, 19 of July, and so on, right? The last day of class is going to be 11th of August. One month and one week from now. Bella, are you there? Bella Mespa? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Annabella Bowers? Here. Good. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah. Sara Cabrera? Here. Okay, Carly Dye? I'm here. Good. Peter Gerdes? I see Peter. I'm here. Okay, good. Thank you. Mahedi Hassan? Here. Wesley Motley? Here. Shagad Nurali? Here. Donika Ushoa? Let's see, are you there, Donika? Let's see here. No, I don't see Donika here in my list. Anna Ponce? Right here. Thank you, Thank you Anna. Kylie Quezada? I'm here. Next is Alisa Quintero. Here. Next is Daniela Rodas. Here. Dior Simons. Here. Okay, Shreya Trider. Here. You're there? Okay, thank you. Jasmine Tobar. Here. Aida Sagay. Aida, are you there? Let's see. Yeah. Here. I heard you right. So let's see here. Jordan Tato. Here. Okay, I recognize some of your some of the students here, right? Some of you took uh, 120 with me, I believe. Right. One twenty seventeen. Let's do here. here we go. Okay. Eight seventeen. Okay, good. We are in good shape here. The numbers match. Let's. Uh, 22 lab notes. Let me see if I have everything in the right place here. Summer 2, that's good. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you I'm going to take you to a site. Mm. 122, that's the fall. Bear with me. Lab notes. No, that's, not, that's the one I want. Okay, that's the one here. Let me upload this document there. I, I, I didn't finish 
I didn't finish it, the syllabus yet, but uh, I'm going to go through that and okay. The schedule is not complete yet, but we, we're going to finish the schedule for today. I'm going to save that my PDF. Here you go. And I'm going to give you a link for you to access. Like I said, it's not complete yet. Shareable. If you took, if you took the lab with me before, and the lecture, you already know how I do things, right? I give you a link to my to a folder that I create in Google Drive. You're gonna have access to this folder to download the documents. I'm going. Let me also save this PDF file. This PDF file that you see here are the lab notes of the fall semester when I, I taught the same lab on the fall. So as we go along, I'm going to update these notes. But at least you already have uh, an idea of what we're going to do during the semester. Okay, so here you go. Let me give you the link for this folder. Okay, link to syllabus handout and lab notes. Keep, so you, you're going to have three important links. Actually, you're going to have four, okay? I'm going to tell you what, what the fourth link is all about this. This link here is the one that you use for my class meetings and office hours. This is the link that you use to download the syllabus, handout, and lab notes. And this is the link of my YouTube channel where I'm going to put the, I'm going to upload the videos of those classes. Okay. It's uh, right now we are recording this class, not in, not in Zoom. I don't like Zoom. I think it's not a good quality. I bought a software that can record my voice and uh, whatever I display here in my desktop. And I have other videos there from other classes. So if you want to review, the documentation for both the lab and the lecture, you go you go there and take a look at, uh, at the videos. Yeah, and now if you can subscribe to it, it would be great. Okay. So here you go. Let me get to the link for the lab notes. And I'm going to send that. Keep those three links handy all the time. Okay in a easy way and then again there will be one more link which is the link of your group folder just like i used to do we can't access this file i know i know i didn't set up the blackboard asan so 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 we're going to do everything through my google drive okay i'm going to yeah i'm gonna send the link through chat hang in there i'm gonna send that right now I don't like Blackboard, you know, Blackboard is usually some, every now and then they, they crash and we cannot have access to it. Okay. So go ahead, access this link, keep it, keep this link safely. But of course you have the link already in my syllabus. Once you have the syllabus, you are going to have this, the link as well. I call that version number one of my syllabus. If I find mistakes in the link, in this syllabus, I will update with other versions. Or even, you know, whenever you fall a little bit behind, update the schedule as well. Let me know if you can have access to this link. Here you go. 
that the shareable folder here go lab handout see that lab handouts it's unfortunate that the department has provided us with handouts that are full of mistakes okay and uh, what I do you know I, when I first taught this course I I told the department and the department since then didn't do anything about uh, fixing those mistakes. I'll be pointing out the mistakes that are in the handout and you correct them. So that's the syllabus, you know, P122-21, syllabus summer 21-2 version 01. And here are my notes. Don't forget those notes are from the fall semester last year. And we'll be updating these lab notes as we go along. Everybody got the link? Is it working for you? Okay, good. So go ahead, download not just those two documents but also the lab handouts. We have a total of 12 lab handouts. I'll give you some time to do that. It might take some time. You know, you might want to highlight everything, you know, right click and download. Okay. We have a four hour meeting. All those lab handouts that you see here were planned for a two, two and a half, three hours meeting. That's what, uh, so we will have to fit, because we have four hours, right? Almost four hours, three hours and 15 minutes. We will have to adjust our schedule to fit like two of those handouts in a few of the meetings that we have so today what we're going to do we're gonna we're gonna cover the syllabus like we're gonna have the introductions and we do this lab here the vr lab two uh, and and yeah and then we're gonna do this one as well i don't like the way that they did this one hopefully we'll be able to have time to do both of them but what we have here for the laboratory one is exactly what I did for physics 120 is how to use Excel. Okay. Are you ready? Did you get everything downloaded? Can I move forward? Yes, okay, good. Okay, so let's move forward. I'm gonna cover, the idea here is to cover the, uh, let's see. The plan here is to cover the, Let's go through this one. Let's see here. Um, a little bit more about me. Okay, not only I worked for NASA, I worked for nine years for NASA as a contractor, but I had the opportunity to fly that uh, airplane, NASA airplane that simulates zero gravity. The, that plane is a, is a KC-135 airplane, which is a, the military version of the Boeing 737 military version version of the civilian Boeing 
737, okay? People there at NASA call it the K-Bird, and we also call it the Vomit Comet. This airplane is used not just to train astronauts, but also to perform zero-gravity experiments that are inside the airplane. If you watch the movie Apollo 13, Gary Sinise, Tom Hanks, and others, right? They use, they were the first Hollywood movie to use the, this NASA airplane to, to take some shots there inside the airplane. So when they were planning the movie, the Apollo 13 movie, let, let's take a look there at, uh, at Wikipedia. Here you go. Wikipedia, Apollo 13 movie. Just a very good movie, by the way. Here you go. Wikipedia. Kevin Bacon, Tom Hanks, Bill Paxton, Gary Sinise, Ed Harris. Okay, so I was at NASA when they did this movie. And I was falling closely. Here you go. Docudrama film. Ron Howard. Ron Howard was the director. Okay. What year it was 1995? Okay. So at that time, they when they were planning for this movie, they came up with a, a question mark. First, how to make the movie realistic enough, right? Many movies science fiction movies, when they show their astronauts in space, they show their astronauts walking as though they're on Earth, okay? It's not realistic because they're, flo they're either floating in space or if they're in a planet with a lower gravity, they should be walking differently, okay? So, but they want to make a very realistic movie and they had two choices how to portray the weightlessness effect in their movies. How to do that? They could either use computer graphics, computer, they could use simulations, right? They could use uh, special effects or to do the real thing. To do the real thing, he would have, they would have to be launched into space so they could get a big uh, take in their film, right? But that would be too expensive and not everybody can fly in space. So the other option would be to rent this, uh, this airplane from NASA, the reduced gravity aircraft, okay? And take the shots there inside the airplane. The, the Vomit Comet, the KC-135 can produce not more than 30 seconds of zero gravity, not more. You know, it alternates between periods of 30 seconds of zero gravity, and that, there's a reason for that, and longer, a little bit longer periods of higher gravity, and they, they, they repeat the maneuver, okay? They, they, basically, this airplane, it flies in a, a roller coaster maneuver, okay? Several roller coasters, up and down, up and down. So I was able to fly this airplane. I, would be, I became the first Brazilian to experience zero gravity in, in NASA KC-135. NASA KC-135. And they planned it accordingly, so they could take several... Ron Howard and his team planned accordingly, so they could take lots of uh, scenes in a zero gravity environment, okay? So what, what they found out is that doing the, the filming inside the aircraft was much cheaper than doing the special effects on ground. That's why they went for that. A very realistic movie, very good movie. A friend of mine, even a friend of mine flew with them. He was telling me that he was doing experiments there inside the KC-135 Bird, K-Bird, and Ron Howard, Tom, Tom Hanks, they were floating around and uh, they were sharing their, the airplane with them. Okay, they're just getting familiar. The, the crew was getting familiar with the, the film crew was getting familiar with the airplane and they were floating around and suddenly they crashed into the experiment of his friend of mine, of this friend of mine. And they were all laughing in there, right? Uh, <laughs> that's what this friend of mine told me. He's uh, Ken Jenkins. 
Ken, Kenneth Jenkins, his name. He lived there in Houston, worked at, at the time he worked at, at NASA Jones Space Center as well. Okay, so that's, if you want to read about that. Okay, the budget, what was the budget of the movie? I like to see the budget of those movies. It's amazing. You know, look, look at the budget of the movie. This is a cheap movie. $52 million, but it was back in 1995, right? We must correct for, adjust for inflation. But think about getting a $52 million budget to do a movie. You know, I'm a scientist, poor me, you know? I have been in this business doing research and developing technology for the past 30 years. It took me like 30 years to get a million dollar, to raise a million dollar for, for my experiments to develop my own technology. And those guys, you know, they get like $50 million a year to make a movie, you know? Like Vin Diesel or The Rock and all those big stars, you know, Robert Downey Jr. You know, they, every year they get, they're working on a $100 million budget movie. I do not know how they, they manage to raise those this type of money. And they do that every year. And they do that every year, you know? It took me like a, 30 years to get a million dollars. Those guys get a hundred million dollars every year to, to do their own movies. And it's uh, and look at the gross, right? The box office, $355 million. We're talking about seven times more than what they invested. Not bad, right? That must be Higo. Uh, you know, you gotta adjust for inflation, of course, $50 million, 1995. You do the math, we get uh, 25 years ago, right? So you are just for inflation, maybe 3% a year. We are talking about $52 million is today is around $100 million. Around that, 100% correction for inflation. That's, that's a different level. That's a different level of uh, project here. So he go. Um, during the semester, I'm planning to ask you questions online about the material that's being covered, and I expect you to answer these questions using your private chat message, okay, in the chat box. And because it's a lab, I expect you to be participating. I expect you to be working there on your side, and I'll keep track whether you're in there, whether you're there or not, okay. There will be a total of 12 experiments during the semester. Because of the pandemic, we are not doing actual experiments, but only what I call make-believe experiments. Okay. Just like that guy from the make-believe neighborhood, right? Tom Hanks did a movie about this guy too, uh, Mr. Rogers. Okay. And remember, Mr. Rogers make-believe neighborhood. Neighborhood. Oh, neighborhood. Oh my. Here you go. Some experiments, some simulations that we are going to do, they, they do represent what we do in, in real life. Others, they, they are not realistic at all, but helps you understand the concept that's being taught. If you took Physics 120 with me, I, I caution you for that, right? Many of the experiments that we did on Physics 120, many simulations that we did on Physics 120, reflect exactly what we do in the lab. But others, you know, it's not real, they're not realistic at all. But uh, they still serve a purpose. And the purpose is to expose you to the concepts in physics. Okay? You get a data, you're gonna get data for this experiment. You prepare a lab report, turn it to me as a group, right? I correct it and grade it, and grade the report, and you will be able to know what you did wrong. There are a total of 12 experiments, but there will be a total of eight, but there will be a total of eight lab reports. Okay, there are only lab report. There are only group reports. There are only group reports. I'm not gonna mess up with individual lab reports. There are only group reports. Okay. 
Okay. Like that. Let me remove that. Group lab reports. We work with your group members. You know, let's see, up to three additional students, up to three additional students, so a total of four students per group. Four students per group. And you will submit a joint lab report according to my instruction. So let's let's turn it turn to the to the syllabus. All this material here is covered in the syllabus. Let's go back to my syllabus here. Here you go. Okay, instructor, that's my name, that's my email address, SCSUDH, and I also making available my personal email address as well, at AOL.com. Course information, classes scheduled, Monday and Wednesday, 12.30 to 4.20, it's online synchronous, you're required and you're required on synchronous meetings and you are required to be present during these meetings office hours monday and wednesday 4 20 to 5 20. for this course we use the lab manual handout provided by the department and uploaded to my google drive upload to my google drive folder to a folder to a folder in my Google Drive account link to the class meetings and office hours link to syllabus handouts and lab notes that's the link here in the Google Drive link to my YouTube channel. Okay, let me take you to my YouTube channel. You go, I start experimenting with the YouTube last semester. Uh, let's see here. No, no, no. Why? Man, I already have 20 subscribers. That's nice. Let's see. I doesn't make okay. That's that's not my that's okay. That's so uh, the link that you you need. Let me go to my own link. YouTube here. You go. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's that? History. No, it's here, right? Uh. Man, what is that? Let's see here. Let me see if I can find it. My channel. Okay, I got it. My channel. Good. I got it. So, videos already have some videos there from the last from the first summer session okay I'll be posting more of those videos there they are not good quality so don't expect too much I'm just recording what we do here in the class I'm not gonna do any editing whatsoever so don't expect anything great okay but it still may be Useful for you to review what we we thought. Okay, doing those I have already done videos, high quality videos in the past. I have done that. Okay, and I have even posted one of them here, but uh, it doesn't apply to your course. But those, keep in mind, those to make a high quality video, it requires lots of requires lots of effort. Okay, that video that I did, I is only it's only a six minute long video, but it took me you know, 100 hours to do that. And I paid someone to, to do a high quality video for me as well. And I went through all these steps. You know, if you're going to do a high, high quality video, don't expect that it's easy to do that. No, 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 no. It's very difficult, requires lots of time. So what we are doing here is just for your reference, okay? 
It's not a high quality video. You are just recording the class. So you see what we are doing here and refresh what we talk, what we talk during class in real time. And uh, there is no script whatsoever. I'm doing everything on the fly. If you're going to do a high quality video, you need a script, you need a storyboard, you need professional help, you need to edit the video. You do that over and over again until it is perfect, until you, you, you do it, the, until you get what you want, right? But it takes lots of time to do a high quality video. Again, what you're doing here is not a high quality video, it's just for documentation purposes, for you to refer later on if you need to, whenever you're doing your lab report okay so the so some of those videos that i posted in there so i'll go ahead and check it out uh, of course description this is the lab component of physics 122 we will perform virtual experiments in electricity magnetism and optics by the way, optics is my area of a specialty. I do research on optical fibers. The class is taught at the freshman sophomore level for life sciences students. Physics co-requisite is Physics 122 the lecture. I'm teaching that as well. To get credit for each meeting, you must attend the meeting, arrive on time, and participate and participate. If it's not an activity, you get a zero for that specific activity. Similarly, if you arrive late, you'll not be allowed to participate in the activity. Also, every now and then, I will interact with you to ensure you are in, in front of your computer. Okay. Required materials and access. Physics 122 lab manual handout. Bound notebook. Just like I do, you know, I keep a bound notebook, a journal. Like that. I have a bunch of those already, you know, in my in my shelf here behind me. I start doing, I start collecting those journals with my notes in 2003. And all my documentation, you know, how much time I spend doing this and that, important information about inventions and so on, I record it here in this book. Important information that I consider information that I consider to be important. I record it here. Uh, laptop or desktop with Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. Microsoft Excel for data analysis, right? Respectively. So you expect you expect to know Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. We cover that. In physics 120 reliable internet connection you gotta have reliable internet connection pen drive to store data access to FAT to the FAT website if you did everybody here has done physics 120 right so you you should already know FAT Okay, lab works an important component of any science. We design a series of 12 virtual experiments for this course to reinforce the concepts presented during the lecture, demonstrating practice in a virtual platform. The concepts taught, familiarize the students with various types of equipment available for engineering research purposes, even though, even though those are virtual experiments. Many of the virtual experiments represent real equipment that's used in research and engineering. Demonstrate lab procedures in a virtual platform and methods of data analysis. In our experiment, you'll be working with no more than three classmates. You'll be allowed to choose your classmates. However, the instructor reserves the right to change your group. Okay, in this meantime, why don't you go ahead and start choosing your classmates for your group, okay? No more than 40 students per group. Let's do that. I want you to start looking for your group members so we can go for the next step but i need i need to give you another another link right that would be the group folder that i didn't provide you before i give you a group for your uh, link for your group folder i have to know who is in your group 
So go ahead, you know, please uh, start looking at your, at your classmates to make a group. Okay, now I'm going to interact a little bit with you as well. Let's see here. I want to get to know you better. So, so let's do the following. Let's take a little break. Let's see, one, one thirty right now. Yeah, let's take a little break first. I I have a break every hour, one hour, fifteen minutes, and then we're gonna we're gonna do some introductions too, quick introductions since I already introduced myself. Okay, and after the break, of course. Any questions so far? Oh, you cannot chat with your classmates, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me change it here. Thank you for letting me know, Carly. Everyone publicly. Okay. So now you should be able to chat with your classmates. Post only. Guys, yeah. How long is the break for? What do you say? How long is the break for? Like, from what time to what time? The, you're asking about the break. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Let's do the let's do a break like a 15 minutes, one one thirty to one forty-five. Okay? okay. So let me get it here. Lab notes. We are not gonna do any individual lab reports. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so break from 1.30 p.m. to 1.45 p.m. Okay, let's do that now. And if you want to chat with your classmates to select a group for you, go ahead. Do that during the, you can do that during the break. Or if you want to take a break too, it's fine, okay? So I see you in, any more questions before we go to the break? <clears throat> no. No? Okay, so I see you in 15, 15 minutes. Pause, and now I'm gonna start the recording again. Good, so we had our break. So what are we going to do now? No. I, I want to do, I want to make some introductions, okay? I want you folks to introduce yourself and you tell me what group you are. And let's see, let's, let's, let's continue now with some introductions. I want to know about you. I want to know about you. And I want you to share, I would like you to share the following. I would like you to share the following. The following is the class. Your name, right? Your major, and any hobbies? And something interesting about you, something interesting about you. What do you like about you? Something interesting about you that you'd like to share that you would like oh here you go that you would like like to share and of course oh yeah and of course don't forget and whether you have a group or not okay let's do it this way your name your major any hobbies you may have something that something interesting about you would like to share and whether you have a group or not so let's go here Uh, let's see. 
one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, name, major. I'm gonna put this here, hobbies. Something interesting about you. And I'll put it your group. I'm gonna give you a group number for you all. And then after the group, after you give me a group, you know, after I know who are who are your group mem who are your group members, I will give you a link for your group folder. Okay, that's how you're gonna do. So let's start with Bella. And hey, wait a minute. And also interesting. One more thing. Whether you took whether you took P20, who you took P120 with me. Whether you took my classes before, okay? Whether you were my student or not. I can I identify some of you that were my students, right? Whether you were my student or not. So one more. My student or not? Well, you took a course with me before. Okay, let's start with Bella. Here you go, Bella. I uh, want to share your information with us. And first, do we have a group now? Do we have a group member, Bella? Uh, yeah, I'm with Annabella, Sarah, and Carly. Oh, it's, oh, oh man, I hate that. Excel has a, Annabella. You're you are with Annabella, Sarah, and Carly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to share any? What, what's your major, Annabella? Um, Bella. I'm clinical laboratory science major. Clinical what? Laboratory science. Ah, okay. Clinical lab. Lab. Any hobbies you want to share with us? Um, I enjoy hiking. Hiking. Okay. Good. And uh, anything interesting you would like to share with us? Um, I'm also a member of the women's soccer team here at DH. Oh, women's soccer team. Okay. Okay. Oh, did you follow Brazil and Argentina, by the way, this weekend? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I did. Gosh, that's terrible, wasn't that? For me, it's <laughs> terrible because I'm Brazilian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. And you, you were my student before? You were my student, right? Yeah, yeah. actually, I was in your lab class on the first session of summer. Oh, uh, first session of show. okay. Yeah, I recognize your name there. That's good. So, thank you very much. For sharing that with me and now Annabella, you are with group number one. Okay, Bella and Annabella, Sarah, you are group number one. Okay. Yes. Okay, so just confirm with me, you 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 are with Bella's group. Is that right, Annabella? Yes. Okay, good. So, what about your major? What's your major? Uh, pre physical therapy. Physical therapy. Okay. Therapy. Good. What's your hobby? Any hobbies? You wanna share with us? Um. I like playing sports. You what playing sports, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Also. Any sport in particular? Um, all of them. All of them? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So swimming, biking, hiking, you know, all that stuff? Yeah, crew, basketball, soccer. Wow. Okay, so you're an athlete. Oh, well, physical therapy, right? That's... Uh, it's kind of an athlete. Okay. Any interesting thing you'd like to share with us? Um, I'm an only child and I have no cousins. You have a what? Well, you are an old old child? What does it what does it mean? Only child. Ah, only child. Okay. You're the only child. Okay. No, no sibling. Okay. Uh, okay. That, nowadays it's common, right? Because uh, we we are you know we start to have less and less children in the families, right? I was yeah. I was the middle child in the three. You know, three siblings. Uh, my brother is the youngest one. My sister is the oldest one. And you were my student before, right? I recognize your name here. Right? Yes, I had you last semester. Last semester in the spring. lecture. In the spring, right? Yes. In the spring, in the lecture spring. Okay, good. Thank you. 
And uh, Sarah? Um, I'm also physical therapy. Okay. Um, I attend the gym like all the time. Gym, okay. Uh, something interesting. Well, opposite of Annabella, I'm the oldest of like eight siblings. Wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> oldest of eight. Okay. Large family is nice okay. because people, you know, people are very close together and lots of uh, they have lots of fun, right? Together. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's uh -huh. fun. It's really busy, but it's fun. Yeah. And uh, I had you for spring. Also. Okay. Yeah. Was that the lecture or the lab? Uh, the lecture part. I had lab with somebody else. The lab, lab and lecture. Okay. No, I had you for a lecture, and then I had um a different teacher for lab. For the lab, okay. And yeah. Annabella, you were okay. Annabella, the lecture, right? Lecture. Okay, good. Thank you. And just to confirm, you're in group number one with Annabella and Bella, right? Right. Okay, That's good. Great. Thank you very much. Carly? Thanks. Yes. Okay, you are in group number one, right, Carly? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so what's your major? I am a biology major. Bio biology, okay. Good. Any hobbies you want to share with us? Um, I actually also like to work out. Work out in the gym? Okay, good. Yeah. Anything interesting about you? Um, to be honest, there's not that much interesting about me. Oh, that's <laughs> um, uh, I'm a double major, I guess. I guess that's pretty interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, what's the other major? It's criminal justice. Criminal justice. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, very different from biology, I see. Interesting. Yeah, I want to do forensics when I, uh, oh, when I graduate. Yeah, so yeah. you can connect your science with uh, criminal justice. That's good, yeah. 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 CSI type of work, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. And uh, I recognize your name. You are my student too, right? Yeah, I had you for lab and lecture last semester. Lab and lecture, uh-huh. Okay, thank you very much. And let's see, Peter, you said you don't have a group. Is that right, Peter? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, I don't have a group. Okay, so you're right now by, by your own. Okay, I'm going to put a question mark here. Let's see. I'm going to ask everybody else and then if there is a, you know, and then I'll figure out where you can fit. Okay, let's do this. Okay, way. cool. So, remind me, if I forget, remind me. What, what's your major? Uh, so kinesiology. Kinesiology, okay. Kinesiology and hobbies. Any hobbies? Uh, uh, playing, playing video, video games. games. Oh, video games, okay. Man, the video games was not my thing when I was growing up, okay? Uh, interesting. I, I don't play video games, you know. When, when I was growing up, we start to have those arcade games with pinball machines, and I never got into that. I had friends there in Brazil that would spend, you know, lots of money playing playing those machines, and then later on came the video games, and I never got into that, you know? But lots of students nowadays, they, you know, play those things, right? And, and, yeah. and, and I understand that they are good because I understand that they help uh, help us learn stuff more more easily, right? Video games. Yeah, I mostly just play with my friends. friends. But if they're not playing, I'm not playing. You know. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Okay. Anything interesting about you? Uh, I run a gym here, uh, in my backyard. So usually working all day. Yeah. Do 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 you rent the gym to other people? <clears throat> People pay yeah, well, it's like clients, like, like friends, you know, like, like mostly just like close. I train them, like athletes. So, oh, yeah. that, that's nice. Okay, okay, so okay, so so you have your own gym at home, and you you train them. Is yeah. That, wow. Okay. Have you ever worked at LA Fitness or any other gyms out there? Uh, I worked in uh, rehab. Uh, there was this place in Hermosa Beach. Uh huh. It was a, I forgot what it was called, but I worked there. Um, Never. I worked at a clinic for a month. I didn't like it. I'm more into like training rather than a rehab. But I did do rehab for a bit instead of the gym, and I got into just training athletes, like baseball players mostly. Wow. Any anybody famous or? Oh uh, well, I had a close friend that I grew up with. Uh, he plays for the Milwaukee. Uh, I, I know some people from LAFC that I help just train. Some people that got injured. Uh, How old are you? How old are you? Now 23. 
23 and you're already doing that stuff, huh? That's, uh, that's, that's very impressive. Yeah, I guess I, I just got lucky. I just knew a lot of people. I I was really involved in my school. I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends. I, I just, yeah, I guess uh, just work, working hard, <laughs> meeting people. Pretty cool. Okay, nice. And you are my student too, right? Yeah, I took, I took this class. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, I recognize your name as well. Okay, thank you very much. And I'll go back to you, Peter, see where, where, where you can fit, where, which other group you can fit, okay? Mahedi, Hassan? Um, hi, uh, I'm a cellular molecular um, bio major. Cellular molecular, okay. And um, I'm trying to think of a hobby. What do I do? Uh, well, I, I go fishing. Oh, fishing, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, anything interesting? I have a twin brother. Twin brother? And, oh, I see. There is and a, I, wasn't your, uh, I wasn't your student before, so. Yeah, a twin brother can be either maternal or fraternal, right? Uh, which type of twin brother is it? I think it's maternal. Huh? You were saying maternal or paternal? Yeah, yeah, there are two types of twin brothers, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah no, we're identical. What's that? We're identical. Uh -huh. Identical twins, okay. Yeah, identical twins. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's interesting. Okay, and you were you my student? No. No, no, right. Yeah, I don't recognize your name. Okay, good. So you're, you're group number two, okay? Okay. And let's see for the next one. Wes, well, how many people are in your group, by the way, Mahedi? Um, I have three others. It's Jordan, Wesley, and Ada. Okay, Wesley. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to them. So, yeah, I'm also. So that's what Wesley, right? Wesley, you're in the same group as Mahedi. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. What's your major? Uh, biology. Biology. Okay. And any hobbies you wanna share with me, with us? Um, I like, I like hiking, hiking and I like drawing. drawing. You like drawing as well? Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Okay, anything interesting about you? Um, not much. Not much. Um, I'm, I'm a, a cinephile. cinephile. Cinephile, you said? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So or you like cinema, to cinemaphile. 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 Yeah, I like, like cinema. cinema. Some, some, somebody that watch, uh, watch a lot of movies, right? Yeah. yeah. But but do you make any videos? Do you make any movies at all? Or um, just... not, not yet at yet the moment. moment. Uh -huh. But but you, you, you'd like to do that? Well, you know, we have this drawing background, right? Drawing it's, background is a, is, a, is a good thing to have it if you're going to go to cinema, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's in the, the back of my mind. mind. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, you can do storyboards with your drawing, you know, drawing uh, abilities, right? Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Okay, good. And what are you, my students? Um, 120 or 122? 120? 120? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, fall okay, semester. Uh-huh. But but you, 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 didn't, you weren't what, did you take 122 before with me? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, right? No. Okay. Uh, no. This is, yeah. yeah. In the fall semester. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Wesley. Um, and uh, let's go to the next one, Shagar. Hello. Okay. Do you have any group, Shagar? Um, I do. I'm with Daniela, Dior, and Shreya. Okay. So let's see. And we are going to be group number three. Okay. okay. So I'll get back to, you have only three, three students in your group? Yeah, with me will be four. Oh, with you will be four, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So group three, what's your major? Um, biology. Biology, okay. The biology department has, has a graduate program, right, uh, Shagar? For, I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? The, the, the biology department in uh, the university, they have a graduate program, right? A master degree, maybe? Um, no, I'm actually a cellular and molecular bio major, so it's the bachelor. Okay. I, I'm not sure about anything else. Uh, okay. I'm pre-med. Okay, you don't know. Okay. What's your, any hobbies? Um, I like reading. Reading, okay. Anything else interesting about you that you like? No. Not really, no. Not really? Okay. So, Shagara, I recognize your name. You were my student before, right? Yeah, last semester. Okay, in the spring? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So look, thank you. Thank you for sharing. No and let's go to the next one. Donica is not here. Is Donica here? No, I don't see Donica. I'll put her in group zero. Anna Ponce? Yes. Okay. Uh, in which group are you? Oh, I don't have group. Ah, oh, you don't have a group. So I'm going to put a question mark here. Okay. And uh, what's your major? Biology. Biology. Okay. Any hobbies you'd like to share with us? Um, I like baking. Baking? Oh, cool. Okay, kitchen, right? That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything interesting about you? Anything interesting that you like to share with us? Um. Yes. Um. I'm planning a trip back to El Salvador to visit my great grandmother, who just turned 103 years old. Uh huh. What was the place you said? What's the name? El Pablo. El Pablo. El Salvador. El Salvador. Ah, oh, okay. El Salvador. Okay. So yeah, so you're were you born there in El Salvador or, or were you born here in the States? No, I was born in El Salvador. Oh El Salvador, okay. So you came very young here at Prism, right? Um twenty one. Uh, oh. Oh mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, you you seem to be very fluent in English. Okay. So you just arrived here or when did you arrive in the States? No, oh, actually, actually um I arrived I'm when I was twenty one. I'm thirty now. Oh you're thirty now, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I can't not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see any accent there, so, okay. Um, I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, uh, you were my student, right, Anna? Yeah. Yes, okay, yes. good. So, that's, thank you. So, consider being in a group with Peter, okay? Let's see what? how, I'm going to ask around, let's see, maybe you're going to join a group with Peter, okay? Let's see how things go, and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, okay. great. Okay, Kylie. Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah. actually Kaylee. A king? Yes, Kaylee. Um, Kaylee, 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 okay. Good, Quezada, okay. Well, do we have a group, Kaylee? No, no I do I not. not. We do not, have, okay, good. So think about joining the group with Zana and Peter, okay. So major, any majors? Um, I'm a cellular and molecular biology major. Okay, good, any hobbies? No, it's just work and school. That's work, it. Work and school, okay. And anything interesting about you you'd like to share? Um, I'm overly obsessed with dad jokes. Dad, dad jokes? Oh, okay. Yes. You know dad people, you mean? Like uh, dad jokes, like um, the ones that people usually don't laugh at because they're a little, um, a little stupid. But they're uh -huh. kind of funny. Okay, obsessive. I will put it. Obsessive is jokes. <laughs> okay, good. And were, I, were you my student? No. No, right? Yeah, I don't recognize your name. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And let's go for Alisa. Do you have a group, Alisa? I do not. No, you do not have a group. Okay. Any, do you have a major? Biology. Biology. Okay. Any hobbies you'd like to share with us? Uh, I like doing puzzles. <laughs> puzzles, you said? Yeah. yeah. Puzzles, okay. Crossword puzzles, things like that, or? No, no just, just building puzzles. Ah, uh, building puzzles, okay. And anything interesting? No, not really. I've been skydiving. Oh, skydiving? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you're, you're brave. <laughs> so you have done the skydiving, huh? That's very yeah, interesting. Oh gosh, ah, lots of adrenaline. I, I have to do that before I die. I have to do yeah, that. Really. Before I, uh, I have done indoor skydiving, but not uh, jumping out of an airplane. I think I'm too chicken to do that. But maybe one day I'll do it. Uh, how many times have you done? Just once or several times? Just once. Just once, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, I wonder, you know. Uh, how how is the adrenaline as you go down? You know, it's uh, can you can you describe that to us? Do you feel excited when you land in there, or breathing <laughs> happily? The, the 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 heart rate going to the roof. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Uh, your heart rate definitely goes up, but it happens really fast and it's really fun. But it's uh -huh. it's really fast. Ah, interesting. 
And of course, you jump with a with an instructor, right? You didn't jump alone, right? The first the first yeah. dive is always with an instructor. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, but but you know, let's see. How long does it take since you jump from the airplane until you land? How long does it take? Like two minutes, three minutes? How long? How, how long does it usually take? I think it was like three minutes. Three minutes. You go on free fall. You open the chute and you feel that big G on you, right? What, three Gs or maybe even five Gs, I believe, right? Did they explain um, that to you? No, they didn't. They didn't explain that to you? Yeah, but when you open the chute, you feel that pressure on you, right? You feel that you're very heavy at that moment that the chute is open and then everything is stabilized. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Were you my student? Yeah, uh, last spring, spring in the lecture. Okay. Spring, thank you. Okay, thank you. And let's go to the next one, Daniela. Um, yeah, uh, I'm in group three with Sakar, Dior, and Shrey. Okay, good. So you're in the group three. Good to know. Do you have any? What's your major? Biology. Biology. Lots of biology students here. Any hobbies? Uh, I like to cook. You like to cook? Yeah. Ah, cool. Okay. Anything interesting? Um, I like to go to the gym. Dance, you said? Uh, to the gym. Ah, to the gym, okay. Okay, work out and building up the muscles, right? Uh, were you my student, Daniela? Um, yes. yes. Last spring. Last spring. In the spring. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's see, Dior, let's go to Dior now. What, what, do we have a group, Dior? Uh, yes, I'm also part of group three with Shariah and Elizabeth. Okay, so you're in group three, right? So Shagar, yeah. Daniela, oh, and yeah. you, okay. And Shreya, and Shreya yeah. is in group three as well, is that right, Shreya? Yeah. yeah. Group three as well, okay, let me put it here. Okay, let's go back to Dior. Dior, what's your major? Uh, bio, biology. Biology, okay. Any hobbies? Uh, I have some like football, like playing sports, video games, but recently I actually just started a new one. I was given an acoustic guitar, so I'm going to start taking lessons on how to play. Okay. Okay, so the sports in general, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything interesting about you you'd like to share with us? Uh, I like to cook. I've been cooking for myself since I was like five, six. Cooking okay. is something I'm really good at. Uh -huh. Can you repeat that? Uh, oh, I said I'm good at cooking. Like I've been cooking for myself since I was like five, six. Oh, okay. Okay. And yeah, let's see. I recognize your name. You're my student, right? Yeah, yeah. I was part of your summer session one for physics and science. Summer session one. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you. So now Shreya, let's go for Shreya, your major Shreya. Um, I'm a neurology and radiology major at Purdue. Wow, at Purdue? Oh. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how, how is that? You're you are, you are transferring the credit from here to, to Purdue? Is that what you're, you're going to do? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see, I see. And uh, wow, neurology is something, uh, yeah, that's something that... Uh, have you ever worked? Do, do, do you do any work monitoring the brain, or have you ever learned how to do that, uh, Shreya? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so I, I um, was a scribe, scribe and then and I've like shadowed neurosurgeons. So, so I've been in the OR, OR a couple times. Uh huh. Do you, so. do you do you use any any equipment to you know to monitor the brain, like EEG or any other type of equipment? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've used, used um, EEGs to monitor like, like waves um, or like um, abnormal patterns. Um, and then equipment wise, like I've used a couple, but like I'm not authorized to use like everything. I see, I see. Okay, have you ever done anything related to near infrared spectroscopy? People are using near infrared spectroscopy to monitor the brain as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have a lot of um, Parkinson's disease patients that we use that. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I just recently, I'm asking you that because just recently I discovered that the technology that I invented, the sensor I invented, has applications in, in near infrared spectroscopy to monitor the brain. 
I am collaborating. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm collaborating with a guy there in Brazil that has a, a big Brazilian university. He, he he's part of one of those programs there in Brazil to to monitor the brain, and uh, it, it's it's rather interesting, you know. It, it's rather interesting. Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. cool. Yeah, the brain is something uh, yeah, is incredible. It's something incredible. That's that's cool. Okay, hobbies? Any hobbies? Um. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do Junior, junior Olympic, Olympic Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu junior Olympic, you said? Jiu-Jitsu? Yeah. Junior Olympic, oh, I see. Is that uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or...? Yeah, yeah it's BJJ. Uh-huh. Oh, cool. That's... Uh, anything else interesting about you? Um, <laughs> I've, like, like rewatched The, the office, office, like, 15, 15 times. Uh-huh. You mean the, the TV series, right? Yeah. yeah. Office TV series. Okay, and you were my student, right? You were my student. Yeah, too. I, had I had you, you for lab and, and asthma, asthma for lecture, lecture in um, summer, summer, summer session one. In the first summer session, okay. I recognize your name. Well, that's nice. Uh, okay, let's see if we can talk a little bit more later on in the semester about this neurology background of yours. Sure. <laughs> okay, so next one, Jasmine, Jasmine Tobar. Hello. Have a group, Jasmine? No, no I, didn't I didn't manage didn't. to get a group. Okay, so we have five students who do not have a group so far. I'm gonna fit you, hang in there, okay? So major, any majors? What's your major? Uh, uh, physical therapy. Physical therapy, okay. Hobbies? Um, I, well, well, I'm a mother, mother of two, two and I, that's what I do. You know, oh, yeah. and I go to the gym on my off time. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not a hobby. That's a full-time job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah okay. <laughs> anything interesting <laughs> that you want to share? Anything else interesting that you would like to share? Um, yeah. Um, so when the pandemic happened, I opened up my own business as a personal trainer oh, okay. and I help somebody walk again. Wow. So you're doing that online and telling the, 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 the person how to do, how to get to, to walk, walk back, right? Um, no, I actually was able to um, go, I go to their houses and I, I help them. Yeah, I trained a lot of seniors at the gym, and when the gym closed down, they still felt like they wanted to continue, so I did, and a lot of them got a lot better, stronger, and they started walking, and yeah, it was very wow. rewarding. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's, uh, being able to walk again is, uh, you know, uh, how do I say that? Uh, priceless. Yeah. Were you my student? Let's see. No. No, right? No. Yeah, I don't have yeah. Okay, that's great. So I uh, will hang in there. I will find you a group, okay? And, and I'll let you know how we're going to do that. Now, let's see, Aida. Do you have a group, Aida? Hi, Aida. I'm in group Aida. two. Group number two, you said? Two. Okay. Yes. With uh, Mahedi and Wesley, okay. Good. What's your major? Biology. Biology. And any hobbies? Um, I'm a frequent concert goer. Concert, concert goer, is that? Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. And in, anything else interesting about you? I'm a good swimmer. Oh, yeah. yeah your, 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 your voice, I cannot understand it well. Can, can you type there in the, in the chat box? So... Okay, can you hear me? Uh, a little, uh, it's, it's not very clear. It's not very clear. It would be better if you type it. Yeah. Hey there. Hey there. Okay, ah, swimmer. I'm a good swimmer. Oh, I see. Good swimmer, yeah. Do you, do you compete, Ada? No, I just swim for fun. Uh huh. Okay, okay. I learned how to swim late in life. I learned how to swim like when I was 18 years old, you know? I, I was scared of water and then I lost my my fear of water. Many people, they learned how to swim very early, right? How old were you when you learned how to swim? 
Like five or six. Wow, five or six, my goodness. Yep, that's something. Then in Brazil, I wouldn't have access to swimming pools e easily, you know? So it took me a long time. I mean, I managed to learn how to, how to swim only after I got into undergraduate school. Okay. So were you my student before, Ada? No. No, right? No. Okay, okay, thank you. So Jordan. Hi. Yeah. Do you have a group, Jordan? Uh, group two. Group two. Okay. Any majors? Uh, biology. Biology. Okay. Any hobbies? Um, I like to hang out with my dog and my cat. Okay. Hang out with pet. Hang out with pets. Okay. Hang out with pet. Okay. And anything else interesting about you? Um. Not really. <laughs> okay, okay. And I, uh, were you my student? It looks like I, your name, uh, I recognize your name. Were you my student before, Jordan? Yeah, last semester of the lecture. In the spring, right? Yes. Okay. So, okay, that's good. Thank you very much for sharing this information with me. Let me see. There are some students that doesn't, five students doesn't have a group, right? So let me sort here by group number. Smallest, okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do the following. Let's uh, put all those five students in a single group. I don't like, you know, I don't like to have five five students in a group. Uh, let's see. Unless, anybody know, knows Donica? Anybody knows Donica? No? Okay, I'm gonna assume that Donica is not gonna join us. So, so I'm gonna put you all in group four. Is that okay, Peter, Anna, Kaylee, Alisa, and Jasmine? Okay. Okay. Okay, four, 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 and four. Okay, how? Let's see how things go, and then I have to. If Donica shows up, I have to figure out what, uh, which group she's gonna go. Uh, I need now to prepare your link for a group folder. See, go. Shareable. 122. Group folder right in here. Group 1. Group number 1. Group number 2. If you took the Lab with me, you already know how I, how I do that. Group three and group four. Okay, group one. Let's see, I'm going to get a link for you, group one, and you will be able to edit the link they will be able to add the folder. Okay, I'll, and I'll send the link to just one of uh, you folks. And then uh, whoever gets the link, share the link with the other students, okay? So let's see. I got the link, group one. Bella, I'm gonna send the link to you, okay, Bella? Okay. So share the link with with everybody else in your group. Keep, so now you have four links, one for the class and, and uh, for the lab and the office hours, right? The other one is for the shareable folder. The third link is for my YouTube channel and now the fourth link for your group folder. So go ahead, share that with your group, with your other group members, Annabella, Sara, and Carly. Now let's go for group number two. Share the link. Anyone with the link, you'll be able to see viewer, editor. Okay, copy, done. 
Okay, who group number two, Mahedi. Okay, I'm gonna send to you, Mahedi, and then you share with the other members. Okay. Don't share this link with anyone else outside your group. Okay. Next is gonna be Shagar. Shagar, let me get your link, Shagar. Copy the link, Don. One more. Here you go. So share this link with your other group members. Uh, and we are going to go next, group four, Peter. You'll be able to edit this link. Let's go to Peter. Yeah. And share this link with your other group members. Okay, Peter? I'm going to move that. Organize everything here. So, lab notes. Okay, so we are here. This spot here. Here you go. Um, you now have. You now have four links. Four links. One. The Zoom link. for the lab and office hours. Okay, you have a link. Yeah, for the Google Drive. The Google Drive link for the notes and the syllabus you have the link for my youtube channel and your link for the group folder yes let me allow that anna Let's see, everyone, it's going to be, the only, uh, you know, the only option that they give me here is publicly, okay? So whatever you, whatever information you, you share with your other group member is going to be public, okay? I, I don't see any other option here for private chat. Gotta, so we have four links. Let's do the following. Here you go. I want uh, next, just to test the link, just to test the link. I want everybody to upload any file, any file to your group folder, just to uh, and make uh, any file, okay? And make the file with your own name, okay? And title the file with your own name. Can be any file, can be a Word file, can be a PDF file, and just put your name there in the file. We're, we're, we're gonna test that your, you're, we're gonna test if the link is working for you, if you can upload. Can you do that right now? Please upload. 
please upload your document now upload your document now and I'm gonna monitor here if you group one I don't see anything yet group two I don't see anything yet group three and then group four so what work you know work in there so upload any file put the entitle the file with your own name so I know it's working for you whenever you upload it let me know send me a text message okay not everybody has the link huh? okay Bella okay Anybody else? Let's see, Bella. Okay, Bella is here. Carly. Okay, good. Let's see, group number two. Mahedi. Okay. Group number three. Nobody yet. Group number four. Lab handout. That was Peter. Okay, what about the other students? So, whoever uploaded. Make, don't delete your file yet, okay? Make sure you keep it there. I want to see everybody's name listed here. I want you to upload, actually upload a, a file. I don't want you to create anything in there. Looks like group three is having a problem, right? Let's see. Upload file. So I'm going to keep track here. Bella managed it to do it. Right, Bella? Yeah, Bella Carly also manage it. Group number, I'm going to put my ID here. Here you go. Let's see. Okay, anybody else? Let's see. Group number two. Mahadi only. Shreya, okay. Mahedi, Shreya, and Peter. Let's see. Mahedi. Shreya, and Peter. I want to see more, more of you to do doing that. Anybody else? Annabella, did you manage to do that? Annabella, Sarah? Yes, I did. Let's see. Let's go back here. Not yet. I don't see it. Yeah, group two, only Mahedi. Okay. Shagar. Okay, Shagar Nodali. Group number three. What about group number four? Alisa. Alisa Quintero. Ana Ponce. Okay, so here you go. Group number two, are you having a problem there with uploading the documents? Okay. 
no change yet. Nope. Let's see. Let's go one by one. Let's see, Annabella. Are you having any problems, Annabella? Um, I'm working on it right now. Almost done. Okay, good. Sarah? I did it. You did it? Okay, let me check. Okay, good. I see Sarah here. That's great. Wesley? Were you able to upload it, Wesley? Oh, yeah, good. Wesley did it. That's great. I, Ada? Right We're doing right now. Okay. Jordan? I'm uploading right now. Okay. Daniela? Let's see. Daniela, okay. Daniela did. Okay. Let me load this. Dior? Are you having any problems there, Dior? Oh, no, I got it. I'm just waiting for the file to finish uploading. Okay. And group four, let's see. Okay, Anna Ponce, Peter, and Kelly, right? Anna Ponce, Kelly. So, what about Jasmine? Do you have any problems there, Jasmine? Let's recycle them. Let's see, Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine, man. Okay, we're done with group four. That's good. Everybody in group four did it. Let's see, group one. Sarah. Okay, only Annabella needs to upload her file. Let's see, Ada and Jordan. Okay, Annabella just did it. Okay, group number two, group number two, who was missing, Ada, okay, good, Ada, and Jordan, okay, good, group number two is done, that's great, now, let's see, group number three, D Dior, I don't see your name here, Dior, Try to upload it, please. Nope. And group number four, almost everybody. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So, so. Okay, now, now that you managed to upload it, I want you to just delete the file that's in there. Make sure that it works, right? Delete the file that you uploaded, please. All you have, all you gotta do is to right click and remove. Okay. Click on the file, right click and remove. But just remove your the file that you uploaded. I want to see. He got notes. Okay. Now that you prove that you managed to upload your file, I want you to remove it by right clicking the file you uploaded and removing it. Oh, okay, group two is done. That's great. Uploading down and remove it. Group two managed to do that. Okay, anybody else? Group one. Okay. Everybody but Sarah, right? Group one.
SC group number three. Okay, everybody in group number three. Good. Did you manage to upload your? Is the order? Yes, I'm here. I was at an uploading. I just removed it. Okay. And let's see, group number four. Yeah, everybody in group number four up. Okay, good. So, so it's working, right? No problem here. It is 2.40 right now. Let's spend a little bit more of time covering the syllabus. And, and then we go for our break again. Okay. You know, experimental be working is no more than three classmates. You'll be allowed to choose your classmates. However, the instructors reserve the right to change your group. Each student must perform a task. No student should be idle during the online experiment. Okay, here we go. Laboratory report. There is a total of 12 activities or virtual experiments. You must turn in a lab report for each of these 12 activities. I will tell you. I will let you know which of these activities We'll have a report. The instructor will grade these eight reports. For the remaining four activities that you participated, you get a grade. This grade will be the average of eight lab reports that were corrected. For any of the activities meeting that you did not participate or arrived late, you get a zero. Okay, at the end of the semester, I'll drop the lowest grade of the 12 grades and take the average of the remaining 11 grades. This grade will account for 20% of your final lecture grade. The lab report must be completed by each student group and upload to the group folder using the link provided by the instructor. The deadline for this material was on one week after the activity is performed and the report must be turned in before the beginning of the lab meeting. Okay. Now every student must contribute to the preparation of the lab report. I cannot monitor that. I cannot monitor if a student is not contributing or not, so that should be the responsibility of the group to ensure the contribution of every group member and to minimize social loafing. Okay, each group should draft a simple agreement binding each member to contribute to the right tab of the lab report. Think about that, you know, I just, a student of mine told me about that social loafing. Looks like a funny, funny thing, right? But uh, this is something that is studied in social psychology okay there is a there is an entry there in wikipedia that talk about social loafing let me see that's not the one let me get the one that's social psychology but there is a an article let's go there wikipedia social loafing wikipedia right here here you go that's the link that i want you go. I gotta change it. I gotta fix it. I put the wrong one there. You go. We must acknowledge it's kind of a sensitive issue, okay? But we must all acknowledge that social loafing does happen, okay? And that's the best way to prevent that from happening. Everybody at one point or another in your life has, has, has done that. I, myself, you know, when I was there in high school in Brazil, I was taking advantage of my colleagues, my, my classmates, high school classmates uh, that was working hard to get enough money from the local businesses so we could go to an arcade there in my, my, my home city. They were working hard going to every single store there nearby my school we're raising money for a party there at the at, at my school and uh, I, I gave very little input and uh, at the end we will go to this arcade there a big arcade it's like a it's like a you know Brazilian Disneyland okay so 
we can celebrate our hard work. I didn't contribute much, I, I recognize today. So keep that in mind. We're trying to be fair to everyone. So let's minimize social loafing. One way to minimize social loafing is to draft a simple agreement. And the group also may make a decision of dropping completely the name of the student from the report. It's possible. Another way, you know, another way is to drop the student name, the student who did not contribute from the lab report. Okay. I'm going to put it here. Social loafing, uh, here you go. Social loafing is studied by social psychology and it's a real problem everywhere, whether it happens in the classroom or in the workplace among professionals. Okay, we, things like that happen in, among professionals. Okay, this sounds like strange, but it doesn't happen. Fortunately, there are ways to minimize it. Check, for instance, the article on social loafing in Wikipedia. Uh, each lab report is worth 100 points and your grade will be based on several factors. The most important of them are reporting of the correct measured values. If, your report, if you report the incorrect values, you jeopardize your whole lab report. Report every unit. I'm looking for every unit in your lab report. Lab report format neatness, completeness, and accuracy of your results, reporting of proper statistical results, graphs. At this point, since you took one physics 120, you should know how to do graphs in Excel. But here are the instructions on how to graph, how to do graphing. Okay. I can do a, an example shortly. Oh, let's see here. Oh man, I cannot do it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, let's move forward. Okay, attendance and participation of the experiment account for 30% of your lab grades of your report grade, let's put this way, not lab grade, but report grade. What else the remaining 70% will come from the correction of your report? Consequently, if you do the experiment but fail to turn in a report, your grade will be 30%. However, if you fail to attend the experimental and experimental activity, your grade will be 0% for that specific activity. Lab report format is a very simple one. You should know that already. Cover page and just the lab handout filled up and corrected in case there are any mistakes. Okay? Make sure every page has one inch margin at the top, bottom, left, and right. Save the document as a PDF file with the following title 122P12221. That's the section number. L X X G Y. L stands for the two-digit lab number. Y stands for your one-digit group number. Examples. Group one. Lab two. Group one. P one twenty two twenty one L zero two G one. Keep this format, please. Keep this format. I. This for group one and for group two, right? Keep this format because I am going to keep that in my hard drive and I ha it has to be well organized. Don't do anything different, you know, don't do add any different title. Don't put spaces here, just do it exactly the way it is here. Cover page 249, let's see. You know what, uh, yeah, let, let's see if I can finish that out. Yeah, it looks like we're finished. Cover page at the top of a single title page. Center justify the following information in separate lines, right? Oh, here you go. 122, physics 122.21. Laboratory number and title. Use the lab number and title document in the syllabus. Name of the student who performed the lab in alphabetical order by their family name. 
to write each student name in a, each one and let's see write one each student name in a single line uh, one student in one line student name in the next line student name in the next line okay group number date the activity was performed we'll be looking for all those things make sure it's right handout lab handout must be filled with the data from the simulation we do that during the lab meeting table should be placed on a single page okay you must format never split a page a table between two pages units must be documented throughout makeup labs and late report there are no makeup labs for this reason i dropped the lowest grade Late reports will not be accepted. If you miss a lab activity, you get a zero for this experiment, and this grade will be dropped from the calculation of your average grade. If you miss more than one lab activity, the remaining zeros will be part of your average grade, cal grade calculation. Academic and scientific misconduct. Okay, just like social loafing, it does happen. It does happen even among professionals. History has examples of scientists who published material that someone else published before and didn't credit it properly. I have been victimized also. My work has been claimed by others 15 years after I have done the same work. I pioneer a new type of optical fiber sensor and 15 years later, I discovered that a group in Canada was publishing on my technology and was not crediting my previous work. It was not just the Canadians who were doing that. There were people in Spain doing that, people in, in Italy doing that, in China. I just, just, the latest case was from a group of researchers from Taiwan. Okay? In this case, they patented the same invention that I patented nine months earlier. But but I have been in this field for 30 years, okay? Since 1990, since 1989, I have been in this field, field of, uh, of research. And just recently, this group of Taiwanese researchers patented a sensor that's exactly the one I have been patenting all those years, and that happened recently. They patent there in Taiwan, and they patent here in the States too, in the United States as well. When my patent was being examined by, by an examiner here in the USPTO, they cited that patent against mine. But my patent preceded theirs by nine months. But it's not just the nine months, nine months of filing, by the way. It's not, but it's not just the nine months of filing. It's also that I have been in this field for 30 years. And those guys in Taiwan, they didn't bother to do their due diligence to find out anybody else has already been working in the field. Okay? So that's considered plagiarism and even lack of due diligence. I should put it here, academic and scientific misconduct. Okay? Uh, here you go. Plagiarism is just one form of academic and scientific misconduct. Lack of due diligence, too. Lack of due diligence for scientists is considered not doing the not doing the literature review. Okay? So plagiarism is just one form. Uh, and then we have the worst type of academic and scientific misconduct, which is data manufacturing. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out data manufacturing and plagiarism. And I, I I listed only two, but I'm gonna put another one here. Academic and scientific have problems today's society that have been clearly acknowledged by several government agencies. They have happened in the past, and with the advent of computers and the internet, has become far easier and tempting to perpetrate. Unfortunately, this problem is not restricted only to the student population, but also to professionals, professors, and researchers in the private sector, government, and academic institutions. Among the type of here you go, among the type of misconduct that we have in order of severity, okay, are lack of due diligence, lack of due diligence, that, that what attorneys call, okay, but in the scientific community we, we call not doing the literature search, <laughs> the literature search. If you have already done research, 
you know you have to do a liter an extensive literature search to make sure you're not duplicating someone else's work okay lack of due diligence is a requirement to prevent plagiarism okay this is a plagiarism 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 and data manufacturing okay Doing your literature search, doing your due diligence, diligence, and your literature search, search, prevents you from committing plagiarism. But that doesn't mean that you are not going to do that. Okay, so there are historical cases in which that happened, plagiarism has happened. The guy, for instance, of the periodic table, the guy that discovered the periodic table. Okay, he did that work, he published, and later on someone else saw that that work, they didn't cite it, and then they start claiming the discovery of, of the periodic table for themselves. Okay, so accommodation of... Okay, for more academic integrity and plagiarism, consult the university catalog and articles published in the internet. Accommodation of a disability. If you have a disability verified by the university, please notify me in advance so I can provide this proper accommodation. If you miss four lab meetings or more, you automatically get an F for the course. Learning outcomes goes through that. Accessibility. Let's see. Title IX, all of that, you know, we are required to put in there, so you must be familiar with that already. Accommodations for students with disabilities. Okay, go. Computer software, hardware capabilities, and literacy. You are required to know how to use the university email system, how to use the FET website for virtual for the virtual experiments how to use Zoom and other online resources for course materials and content, have access, you expect, expect to have access to a computer with a word processing program for writing assignments, be able to access websites through a reliable internet connection. Okay, con, con that. Okay, make sure that you do not use any threat or intimidation disruptive behavior and he go the schedule I didn't finish the schedule I'm gonna get into there but I want to start our second break okay so we're gonna finish that after the break and I want you to understand that there will be meetings that we are going to perform two experiments keep in mind that we are going to have a total of 10 meetings but 12 lab experiments, right? So in order to fit all those 12 lab experiments, simulations, we will have to have at least two meetings in which we have, we cover two labs, okay? And I'm working on that. Do dates of every lab report. The first lab report is the one on measurements, very similar to what we covered in physics 120. There will be no lab report for the first one. And I'm going to tell you which others there will be no lab report, okay? So let's have our break right now. Any questions? Have been doing that for a um, while. I have yeah? a question. Yeah. So, so when, when does, does the lecture, lecture course, course and like lab, lab course open, open on Blackboard? Because they still like have the locked sign on it. Yeah, I, I, I don't use the Blackboard. So I'm gonna give you a link for the for the course, just like I did. I gave a link for the for the lab for the lab. Okay. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. prepare that for you. So bear with me. I need to prepare all the documentation, all the links for you. Okay. I have to prepare also the the homework, and you will need to have access to to, to the same to the same software that you had access for Physics 120, right? It's right. Great. So with, with the, the um, um, links, links to the, to the platform, platform that you provide us with, with will, will, will we still be able to see our like, grades after, after we submit each assignment? assignment? Uh, 
let's see, in this, for the labs, well, for, well, there are several answers to this question, right? For the labs, you know, you're going to get your lab report corrected, right? When you get your lab report corrected, you'll see your grade in there, right? That answer your like, question. Right, right. So, so we see it in Drive because you like leave it as a comment. comment. But, but for the lecture, lecture course, course, when we, when we submit, submit like homework, homework quizzes, quizzes, and tests, tests is it like added, added to this cumulative, cumulative total? total? Yeah, the, the, the grade, well, let's see, the grade for the homework and for the exams will be there in the platform, in the McGraw Hill platform, Connect, okay? Okay. So, so and uh, I, be, I believe that was your question, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you'll be there, you'll be, you'll be able to access it, yes. So you have those grades and you can do the math to find out to, uh, where, what the grade you are getting for the course, okay? Okay. okay, and because, and because we, we haven't, haven't gotten, gotten the links, links yet, yet, there's, there's nothing, nothing due, due as of right now, right? Not, not yet. Yeah, I didn't prepare okay. your homework, so hang in there, okay? Okay. Hang in there. I didn't prepare your homework yet, and once I get that prepared, I mail everybody. You can, you know, you can come during my office hours to to ask any questions about the lecture and the lab, okay? And, right. And uh, everything is gonna go smoothly, <laughs> okay? All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay, so it's 301 right now. Let's see, lab notes. Great. Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay, so let's have our break. 302 p.m. to 317 p.m. Okay, 15 minutes break. Let me reset it here. And I will see you in 15 minutes.
Kromě ty jeho stůly. Okay, someone was asking about the the lecture, right? The lecture is is asynchronous, so there will be no formal online meeting for the lecture. I I prefer to do synchronous, but uh, but the college scheduled it as being asynchronous, so there's nothing much I can do. Okay, so let's. Uh, all right, Annabelle, you are you you are, you are asking about the lecture, right? Annabelle is there? Are you there? Yes, I was asking um, when the lecture. Is. Yeah. So here you go. Let me just clarify. There will be there will be no formal lecture meetings like we have for the labs for the labs. Okay, that's because the college is scheduled. The lectures to be asynchronous. So what, what are we are going to do? I'm going to, you know, just to clarify, right? Uh, so I will be posting the lecture material in the shareable folder. Okay. And and also I will you know I will record the lectures and post them in my YouTube channel. Okay. I will of course I will also be available you know uh, of course I will also be available. I will also be available to answer any questions about the lecture during my office hours, right? And if I have if we ha if we have time, have time during the lab as well. Okay? Let's do it this way. It's like I said, you know, I, I prefer synchronous type of class. So it's more formal, you know, it's everything is scheduled like, uh, but, but for some reason the college didn't do it this way. For some reason, I asked my chair, can you, can you, before the semester started, I asked my chair, can you do the lecture synchronous please? And, and I believe it was too late for her to change it. And we, we end up like that, right? But like I said, I'll be posting, I'll be preparing videos of the lecture and I'll be posting there in the, yes, that's right, Annabella, you will be doing homework and for the lecture and also the exams through Connect, okay? You will need to, to, to subscribe to Connect just like you did for Physics 120, okay? So I will prepare the homework. I didn't prepare yet, but I will start preparing the homework, and uh, I will tell you tell you when when is going to be the the exams. We are going to have an exam on the average once every week because we have only five weeks. Okay, so you should expect the first exam next week. Okay, you should expect the first exam next week. Here you go first exam in the second week. Let, let let's let's. Yeah, let's uh, get here. Uh, my goodness, I don't, I don't, I don't have the calendar for the for the lecture yet. Let me see if I have the calendar for the lecture schedule. Yeah, it looks like I have it. Okay, I didn't finish, but okay, we should expect like uh, you know seven hours of a lecture per week. 7.6 hours, see? If you were a sync if, if if the lecture were synchronous, so we would be meeting three hours and 
15 minutes for the lecture per week, if, if it were synchronous, right? So that would be the load. I will prepare the videos. The videos is going to be a, li a little bit shorter than that. Okay, because there won't be any questions or answers, right? But you should expect, again, we are talking about the lecture here, right? You should expect the lecture, I, I you know, I, I have to check with you folks because I want everybody to be available for the, for the exam. But you should expect, let's say, exam one, end of next week, okay? Exam of two, end of the other week, you should expect that. Exam, it, it's gonna be very hectic, okay? Exam three, you know, the other week, and then the final exam at the very last day of class. And I'm going to, ex I'm going to schedule every single connect. No, no, with the exam is not going to be on Zoom because I, I do not know if everybody is going to be available all the time, okay? So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to give you a window of one hour and 15 minutes for the partial exams and two hours for the final exam, okay, Carly? I cannot schedule the exams in the Zoom because not everybody, you know, because we do not have a, a formal time and date for the for the lecture right and yeah. uh, I, I want to leave the exam open for one day only 24 hours okay and then you pick up one hour and 15 minutes of those 24 hours that is available so make sure you are available you know you'll be able to to do that what i would like to do i would like to schedule the exams on thursday okay Make sure you reserve two hours, up to two hours for the exam for the, for the coming Thursdays. Okay, so let's do it this way. I'm not going to leave the exam open for one week. Okay, it's too much time. I will leave the exam open for 24-hour period. So let me write that down here. Okay, for the exams. Our exams will be scheduled for for our exams will be scheduled on Thursday. On Thursday, okay. There will be a window of 24 hours for you to do the exam. The uh, we're talking about the lecture here, right? Lecture, right? And uh, 24 hours to do the exam. The partial exam will last one hour and 15 minutes. And the final exam will last two hours. Okay, open notes, open book. The exam will be open notes. The exam will be open notes, open book. That's how we're going to do. So, you know, uh, watch for more details. Watch for more details this week. Uh, most likely I'll have everything ready for tomorrow. I need to prepare the syllables, right? I need to prepare the, the, the homework and so on. Is that clear about the lecture? Okay, so you still have time to do the exam. The first exam is going to be Thursday next week. Okay, and hopefully it's going to be very, everything is going to be smoothly, you know, never. I feel a little bit nervous that we're doing this thing in only five weeks. I never did uh, a summer session in only five weeks. All the summer sessions I have done was in 10 weeks, eight to 10 weeks. But this is gonna be very intensive. 
so intensive that we have to do an exam every week. It's just uh, crazy, but that's what the college did to us, right? I, 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 I would have preferred that they wouldn't break the summer, the, the, in summer session one and summer session two. I would prefer that they would use the whole 10 weeks for a given summer session and every, everything would be, you know, a little bit not so crazy, right? But that's how they did. Uh, so, save it. Let's see if I have any more. Oh, yeah, let's check the schedule for the labs, right? It's 3.30 right now. We won't be able to do lab number two today, definitely. Okay, we have one more hour left. No, let's see, 12.30. Yeah, we have just one more hour, less than one hour left, so, so we won't be able to do the, the, the lab number two. So, here you go. Let me get the schedule for what we did before. I taught this lab. Going back to the lab, right? We're talking about the lab now. I taught this lab on the fall of 2020. Let me get here, notes, courses, syllabus, right here. Lecture, lecture, lab, uh, lab. Eco Lab one twenty two, which was back there in the fall. He go do let's, yeah, let's. Okay, this is schedule that I'm going to give you is an estimated schedule, okay? So our, our first lab is going to be gas law. It's going to be the day after tomorrow. Gas laws. You must have already studied that in chemistry, right? Oh, and then... We have to see, uh, we have to play a little bit by the year, okay? It's not everything that I can predict how it's going to happen, but uh, there will be some meetings that there will be two labs going on. I cannot predict right now which one is going to be, which one is going to be which, okay? So, for now, let's... Let's assume that we can do Coulomb's law and capacitor together. Or maybe, you know, it's all going to depend how, how, how we use our time. Maybe I'll have to switch Coulomb's law here together with Gauss law, gas law. I do not know. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, lab number one, lab number two, three and four, resistor and Ohm's law. Resistor and Ohm's law. Parallel and series circuit. That's going to be a long lab. I know that for a fact. Magnetic fields. Okay, here you go. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do those two together. Let's see if it if, if it works together. And that's gonna be seven and eight.
Then we have Faraday law. That's going to be nine. Let me put this way. And I'll switch back and forth, right? This one. Reflection and refraction. Some of them will have a report. Others are not going to have a lab report. Thin lenses. And wave interference and diffraction. You go right in here. Okay. Here you go. This way, we're doing this one right now. No, I think this 10, 11, 12. Now, let's see here you go. which one we're going to do a lab report. Okay, like I said, you know, take data. This is a Subject to change. This is an estimated schedule of activities. Estimate schedule of activities. Subject to change. If you arrive late for one of the labs, for instance, if there is a day that we have two labs and you arrive late for one lab, wait until the next one. Okay? So you don't miss two labs in a single date. <coughs> ah. Check with me if there will be two labs or not at the very moment, at the very day that you arrive. OK, so here I'm planning two labs for this date. Again, it's subject to change. Here I'm planning two labs for this date. Again, subject to change. Uh, go back here. Which one? Okay, no Excel spreadsheets for this one. Faraday law, there's no. Okay, the last two labs and this other one. There will be no lab report. No lab report for those two, but you still have to be present. To get a grade, okay. Reflection and refraction. That's the estimated schedule. Watch out! Don't forget. Watch out for whenever we have two lab meetings. You do not want to miss this. The days in which you have two meetings. Uh, our our wait, wait a minute. Our lectures we do not meet. We do not meet uh, formally for the lectures. Okay, Sarah. For the lecture, there is no formal meeting. For the lab, we meet at Monday and Wednesday. Today, oh, I got a change here. Good, good point. Twelve. Okay. So let's put fourteen. I didn't notice that. Thank you. That's 21st, that's 26th. Thank you, Sarah. 28, second, fourth, nine, and 11, right? Let's see if 11 is right. Yeah, we're meeting only Monday and Wednesday. Is that clear now, Sarah? Let me write down there in my notes. Okay, just remember the break. We just had our break. Let's put it here. Okay. There is no formal meeting for the lecture. Remember, it's asynchronous. Okay, that is a formal meeting for the labs. 
Monday and Wednesday from 12.30 to 4.20 p.m. Okay, I'll be available. I'll be available during office hours. What's the second week schedule again? Let's see here. Let me go back. Not here. This one, right? That's the second week. Okay. Does it answer? My head? My head? Tense of July. Oh, yeah, Coulomb's Law. Coulomb's Law. I will try to do two labs on the 10th of July. Coulomb's Law and Capacitor and Dialectic. I do not know if it's going to fit in there, okay? And like I said, you know, we're going to play by the year, okay? 10th of July, yeah, 10th of July. It, uh, we may have two labs either here or, or, or here. It's, it's all, 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 today is the 12th. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. Did I make something wrong? Yeah, you're right. Thank you, thank you. It's 17, right? Let me see. It's 19. It's supposed to be 19. Here you go. Thank you. 12, 19, 26. Yeah. Thank you. 1926. Yeah, 29. Good. 14, 21, 28. Yeah, 4, 11. Okay, no problem. Here is the dates now. Thank you for picking that up. Yeah, we cannot go back in time, right, my head? <laughs> yeah, uh, I just misheated here. The 9 is next to the 0, right? So instead of typing the 9, I, I, I type the 0 accidentally. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so I think... And I, again, you know... Keep watching out for those days that we may have two meetings. We may have two meetings on the 19th, or we may have two meetings on the on before, okay? Or we may have two meetings on the 21st. It all depends how much time we spend with each activity. Okay, let me save that, and I'm going to upload. to upload that to your mm, syllabus you go you go shareable Okay, update existing one. Here you go, notes. Okay, you don't need that. It's already in your syllabus. Okay, it's already don't need that, you don't need that. <gasps> My Google Doc already did that. Okay, I did that. Make sure the link we did that. Create a word file. Okay, upload this file. We did that. All, all of that is now removing the link. We did that. Okay. No individual folder, just group folder. Comma. And it's 343. We have half an hour to go. Okay, so here you go. So let's let's use the, this half an hour. 
a little bit of this half an hour. Just to remind you what I told you in Physics 120, right? If you didn't take my Physics 120 course, you may, you may find out about that now. <clears throat> How physics is organized. Okay? This is information that's not, uh, it is in textbooks, but it's not explicit. They don't make it explicit which is a mistake, unfortunately. Okay, there are, there's still lots of things that can be done with take textbooks to, to improve their didactics, okay? And you find that out only after start teaching those courses. And believe me, believe me, I have seen mistakes in books, textbooks, actual textbooks, I have seen. I have, let me show you one textbook that I have here. It's like a hundred dollar textbook, you know, I teach calculus-based physics, and there is a chapter in here in this book that's poorly done, poorly done, you know, it, it, even books like that, they have mistakes there, okay? They try to explain something to the student, and they don't explain it correctly. They explain it incorrectly to get the proper result, okay? So in, in this book, I discovered this mistake in thermodynamics, chapter 21, kinetic theory of gases. Okay, in page 626, they make a, this huge mistake. So even books like that, you know, that uh, cost $100, they, they make mistakes. And finally, you know, they, they, they were deriving kinetic theory of gases. But the explanation that they they came up with just I, I'm gonna tell you BS, okay? It, it makes no sense the way that they come to the right result. It's completely incorrect. So I had to go to other books to find out the right way of deriving the equation that they were deriving here, and I found, and I found. So the the correction to what you have here is in this. Other book here. This other book right in here. Okay, and I was so happy. You know? So keep that in mind. Ideally, no book should have a mistake. Ideally, no instructor should make a mistake during their, his, her lectures, right? But every now and then, something like that uh, happens. Oh, and it, it, it's okay if there is one or another mistake in a, in a book, in a big book. The problem is that when you find, you know, too many mistakes that really impairs the education of our students, right? I, unfortunately, the handouts that we are using has lots of mistakes, and I'm going to brief you on that as we go along. And, uh, but, and also, books. They don't organize physics in the way I like it to be organized, okay? And uh, and that I'm gonna that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna brief you now. Just for some of you, this is this is not new stuff, because you already took my lecture and my labs in the past, okay? But uh, what 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 you have to remember, the basic ideas of physics. There are three basic ideas of physics. Only three. They are not 300. It makes it for much easier way to understand physics when you have those little building blocks in which you can build your physics house, your house of physics, okay? And what are those three basic ideas? Okay, I'm going to, you're going to, I'm gonna just, First are the basic quantities. Once you see the examples, you're going to you're going to know what I'm talking about, okay? But let's not talk about the examples yet. Then we have the primary definitions. Okay? I wanna say that there are seven basic quantities. You have already seen three of them. 
you have already seen three of you have already seen three of them length time and mass we have the primary definitions if you took my course you know that the primary definitions are what the position and the force and by the way those are vector quantities whereas the basic quantities these are scalar quantities and finally we have the laws of physics so far you have seen four laws of physics okay the three laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation so those are your three building blocks of physics if you want to understand physics you have to have all those three building blocks there in your head memorized for the rest of your lives right physics is not something that i throw at you a bunch of stuff that i throw at you and you have to memorize them no 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 physics is something that started with only three basic ideas the basic quantities the primary definitions and the laws of physics each of those building blocks had have other building blocks there in place on them you already know for the basic quantities there are three length time and mass the primary definition there are only two laws of physics there are some out there, I would say there are less than 20. Okay, four laws of, four laws of Newton. Uh, four laws of thermodynamics. We have also four laws of electricity and magnetism. 12 total, but then we have the laws also of modern physics should be around four, two, three or four. I do not know if I'm going to have time to cover them. But those, they all put, when you put all of those three basic ideas together, you can explain great part of nature. Not only you can explain a big fraction of how nature works, but you also can use those basic ideas to create new inventions to create even to create new knowledge and to explain nature okay so here you go here's my table i'm gonna take that out and i'm gonna place right in here okay for, by the way, for this course, you, you saw that in Physics 120. For this course, you're going to see two more basic quantities. Okay? Amount of a substance. And you're going to learn about the electric charge as well. Those were ideas, abstract concepts that were created to understand the universe around us. Length, time, mass, amount of a substance, electric charge. I want to put them one by one, line by line. Remember, there are seven, right? And P120, P120. Their units are the meter. This unit here is the meter. Here's the second. Abbreviate by the letter S. Abbreviate by the letter M. And mass. Kilogram. Those are the main SI units used. And then, 
in physics 122. We have amount of a substance. The unit of the amount of substance is the mole. And you're going to see that there is something else called the electric charge. The unit for the electric charge is the Coulomb, abbreviated by the letter C. We're going to get into this into more detail later on, okay? For the primary definition, like I mentioned, there's the position. The unit of position is going to be the meter as well. It's not the same as a length. Position is not the same as a length, but it has the same unit. And you have the primary definition called the Newton, abbreviated by the capital letter N. And now you're ready for five of those basic quantities. In mechanics, physics, the laws of physics, fourth law of physics. Okay. What's a law of physics? It's a genetic encompassing statement that explains several types of phenomena. Okay. And, and now this semester. Here you go. The genetic encompassing a statement in mechanics we have four laws, three laws of motion, and one law of universal gravitation. The greatest contribution that you can make to humankind, okay? The greatest contribution you can make to science is by discovering a law of nature. Newton did that. Einstein did that. You know, in your field, Darwin did that. Charles Darwin. Okay, the law of evolution. And in mechanics, we have four laws of physics, but, and also in thermodynamics, we have four laws of physics, four laws as well. And we also have the electricity and magnetism, and the electricity and magnetism, which I'm going to cover this semester, right? Four more. Four more laws. Okay. So that what you want to know is 357. So keep that in mind as we go along. Okay? If you're everything else comes from a combination of those basic quantities and primary definitions. Everything else that we define comes from those basic quantities and primary definitions. And the laws of physics are used to solve problems. That's... Okay. Don't forget that we have seven, right? In reality, you have seven basic quantities, but I don't want to overwhelm you. So let's stick with five for now. For now, I'll tell you, for now, only five of those. Let's see if I can get this thing. Yep. Getting there. Here you go. Here you go. Now you got it.
Okay, so that's what I want to to tell you now. We can stop here right now. Okay, just keep on watching for your email. I'll be preparing your documentation for the lecture, including the syllabus and and the the homework. You will need to have. To subscribe to the connect right just like you did for physics 120 and we can do you have any questions okay so you can stop now and uh, i will be available for office hours for until 5 20 today Okay, so see you again the day after tomorrow. Bye bye, Professor. See you. Bye bye.